So today we're gonna go cast for muskies for a little bit in this little creek. Hopefully we get something. Or we'll at least get a pike. We got a snot rock yet. On the glider. Nice. Nice little pikey wikey. Nice pike. She just hammered it. Nice little pike. We better get him going. lures. This is the first time that I've taken a canoe down below this bridge. Usually I just fish the upper area of the spot where I caught the pike, but I was wanting to explore this day, so I decided to try paddling downstream. And most of this area was probably like 8 inches to a foot to a foot or 18 inches deep, and it was pretty shallow, but you could see tons of little bass and bluegill and carp swimming around but I didn't see any muskies when I paddled down to this spot which kind of surprised me because usually the muskies spawn in the stream but I wasn't seeing that many initially we may have been because they were too bright but my canoe was scaring a ton of bigger fish mostly with some carp and I decided to paddle quite a ways down the stream 
so I just wanted to exploring and I'm just showing you some clips of me paddling on our bridges and what the creek looked like that I decided to paddle down. And then when I decided to fish a little ways downstream, I got one fish, which I'll, I'll show you in this video. And I'll give shout outs again for this video to Rip and Lift 57 and to Tommy Tech Outdoors. And I'm hoping I can get some muskies to cooperate soon in my videos. Today I got one to bite, but I, you can see what happened in the, later on in this video. It was still a gorgeous morning to be out, and this weather is going to take a turn that's going to make fishing really tough. Like, it's supposed to be like 45 degrees on Saturday, and the water temp it said in this creek was up to like 63. So, but my guess is this weekend it's going to drop back down into the upper 40s, which might change everything for fishing. There, I mostly I started out throwing a glide bait and a bigger pala and uh, and uh, that whatever type of twitch bait that was like Jake or Grandma and I also threw a bucktail for a little while and that's what my tide was mostly fishing with this day. Early in the year I usually throw a lot of glide baits or jerk baits or twitch baits though. So. And once they start, water warms up and they start getting more aggressive, I'll mostly be throwing bucktails and try glide baits if I'm not catching anything or some, or some bulldogs or something. There's quite the catch. We caught a shirt. Fucking disgusting. We're really good at and clean it up. We got one on the fluke and it's not even hooked in the mouth. We got a dink. We better put this bass on the scale. So let's see how much this weighs. We might as well just hook up to the bait. Point zero six zero pounder. That is a giant ditch pickle, and it isn't even hooked to the mouth. I bet you it did it though. But point zero six zero pounds. We better let this bass go.
so we're done here. I don't know, we fished a little longer than we should have. I got one muskie to chase, which I just didn't get the hooks in right, and I caught a little bass in the northern, so that's it for today.